x and y are positive integers such that 1 over x plus 1 over y equal to 1 half. Find the value of x plus y. Because our x and y are integers, and here we have denominators, we should get rid of this denominator by multiplying to a good number. So because we have x, y, and 2, we should multiply both sides by 2 x, y. So let me first write our equation 1 over x plus 1 over y equal to 1 over 2. Now, okay. if we multiply both sides by 2xy, it will be 2y plus 2x equal to xy. Now, I take all things to one side, so 0 equal to xy minus 2y minus 2x. Now, I want to factorize. Hmm, some students call it S, F, F, T, Simon's favorite factoring trick. It is what? Let's factorize. I say I consider X and Y here. Now I have this, X, Y. Now I want to create negative 2Y. So I place negative 2 here. It is okay. For negative 2X, I place negative 2. It will be okay. But we have one more term, which is 4. So I consider plus 4 here. Now. Because x and y are positive integers, so we can say it will be at least negative 1 because x is at least 1. So the whole term is 1 minus 2, negative 1. Also, it is at least negative 1. But if you check the cases, if it is negative 1, it will be negative 4. It's bad. If you consider negative 2, again, negative 2, also it's bad. So negative numbers, if you also consider negative 4, 1, we shouldn't check because they should be greater than equal negative 1. So the cases that we should check are 1, 4, and 2, 2. Because we should find only x plus y, we don't need to check 4, 1 because the equation is symmetric with respect to x and y. Let's consider this case. x minus 2 is 1. So if I write this, x minus 2 is 1 and y minus 2 is 4. If you add 2, x will be 3 and here y will be 6. And in this case, x plus y in the first case equal to 3 plus 6, which is 9. Now in this case, x minus 2 is 2 and y minus 2 is 2 again. So x is 4. And y is also 4. So x plus y is 8. So we found two answers for x plus y. If you want to learn other tricks like SFFT, subscribe, turn on notification, and like the video.